In Godot, autoloads allow you to share data between scenes by storing them in an object. This autoload object is always loaded in the scene tree, even if the current scene is removed or replaced by another scene. To define an autoload, first create a new script that will hold the shared data. In this case, we created a script called globals that contains one variable. Then click on the project settings and go to the autoload section. Type the name of the autoload and the path of the script. Make sure to enable the global variable option to make it easier to access the global object. Now the autoload singleton has been added. We can access any property by typing the name of the autoload followed by the name of the property we want. When a script is autoloaded, Godot will generate a node and attach the script on that node. This node is added as a child of the root view port before adding any scenes. This makes autoloads persist even if a scene is removed from the viewport. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.